So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the app store and search for GroovePad. Music and beat maker. So it's this one right here, okay? You could probably make your own music with some of these other things that are out here. Um, maybe even find a way to, to edit them. But this is the one that I like so far. I might have to check out this drum and pad machine soon, but I don't want to spend too, time, too much time on this. I just really want to make a quick background music. And after I've made a few of them, I usually, they, they get stored in this My Music section right here. Like these are some of the ones I've made. This one. Now, you also want to try to figure out how to make some that's like upbeat. So you can sample the music by seeing, well, what kind of sounds does it have? A lot of these are hip hop or trap or EDM or some like upbeat style modern music, dubstep, electronica. Like if you press the play button on it, it'll give you a sample of what it sounds like. And you just scroll over. You want to look for something that's kind of like upbeat. I think when you're buying a home, stuff that I've read is you want to find upbeat, inspirational style music. So uh, I kind of went through this before. Um, I hopped on here, and there was one that I thought was was really good. That might be one, but that wasn't it. It was. Just dance. This one. So that's a sample of what you can make, right? So um, you got to look for these different sounds. They're just samples. Each one of these squares is a sample. And you're kind of trying to put it together to create, you know, the music you want for your background. So you start with the upper left, usually, with some sort of beat. So... That's like the kick. If you don't like that, you need something like that. And we'll kind of try to recreate what we heard um, on that sample. That's not it either. So I think it's that kick, right? There's a side B, which is what we're on in the upper right hand corner, side A. You see how I hit that B, A. So let's see this kick. I think that was the one from the, uh, that was the one from the sample, so. Accordion, no, that wasn't it. I think that was it. All right. No. Nope. It's a pretty cool sound. We'll probably use that. I'll switch it up a little bit. Okay, so we're just, I'm playing with the music to try to figure out what I like, Vox is usually some sort of voice um, like that has been synthesized, so. It's usually a voice that's been played with electronically somehow. So we're gonna start here. Um, we're gonna just record when you're ready and we're gonna make some music. So press record.
Now, when you're done making your music, you stop the record button and you guys can mix it up however much you want. Do whatever you want. Play with it a little bit. In the beginning, it might take you longer than five minutes, but um, I try to just make something like play with the sounds a little bit. Then I record and make something and then I just go with it. Um, if you really, really want to try this, if you don't like the way it sounds, it might be easier for you buying royalty free music. But I know that a lot of you on here are already creative anyway. That's why you like making video. So some of you might pick up on this and be like, wow. I'm glad I found this. Maybe it's not for everyone. I like using it, but it's just fun for me. And it doesn't take too long. And you can do it from your phone. I record a lot of my videos from my phone with like a wide angle lens. These, these iPhones are crazy. You've seen they make commercials on TV with them. So yeah, they're not the best, like most high quality upgraded cameras, but they get the job done my opinion so um, I might name it after a listing um, new listing uh, background music okay and now that's gonna save in that section um, in the my music section in the bottom middle right there and then you'll see that you play it back so this is the song that we, we just made All right, so how do you get it out of there? You, you're gonna wanna share it, right? So what I'll do is I'll share it, press the share button, and um, it'll give you some options. Um, what I'll do is try to find the app that I'm editing in. And I usually edit in InShot. So you can actually copy the music straight to your video editing app. The one that I use on my phone is InShot. I believe you can put this into your, your files for Apple um, or also your files for um, like iMovie on your phone if you use that. So now I'm making a video, right? Um, let's say that there's a new, I've got some listing content here somewhere, but um, Okay. This is some B-roll drone footage that I have from a listing. Now I'm playing that, right? And that um, doesn't have any music in the background. So I want to add some music. Well, we'll I want to use that beat, that music that I just made. For this app, you just press the music since we imported it in there and you go to your tracks, which is that music symbol with the plus button to the right of it. Um, and then you're going to go to imported music right here okay and now you'll see the new listing background music that we just imported okay you, you click on that and you press use and now when you're playing your video so you can see how there was a little bit of a pause there you can easily go in because we didn't record right away after we pressed the record button you can just go in and zoom in on where it starts and clip it to where it just starts right on the beat. And now when you start, take the music off of the video but yeah there was a little bit of a lag there let's see but yeah and then if you want you can add your text on here but at least you got your background music and that's how you use um, GroovePad to create your own background music for your videos So look, I hope that video was helpful for you. Um, I know that I told you in the group that you can do it using um, GarageBand. So I'll do that in a different video. Um, 
because I believe the kiddos are up right now and it's time to do in-home schoolwork. So um, I hope that you guys start making your own background music if that's what you want to do, or you can go take the advice of some of the other people on the group and create or buy your own royalty free music. Totally up to you. With this, you have way more control, I think. Um, on GarageBand, you can even make your own samples. If you really want to get deep with it, I don't have that much time for that. I like to use other people's samples, put them together and create my own little uh, creation, uh, doing a mix of all the other samples that are available on that GroovePad app. This is Danny Fee with Keller Williams Realty Las Vegas here in Las Vegas. I hope you guys are doing great and keeping your spirits up uh, during this unique time in human history. And let's see some more videos from you guys and let's see some music in the background that you all made yourself. All right, see you guys on the next video.